You've heard of Tears for Fears? Well, today we got Tools for Fools. Wait, that's me calling you a fool. Tools from Fool. Happy Hobby, I'm David Gunnison. and today we are talking about free tools for collecting cards. Free online tools that help card collectors. And that's what this channel is all about, is helping people collect cards who might be on a limited budget. Like myself, we can't afford the super crazy cards, so we need free card collecting tools to help us out. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And I'm actually going to be going over an article that I posted on my website last week. Some of these tools you might already know about, uh, but I bet there's a couple in here that you haven't heard of or haven't tried before, and I'll hopefully be able to uh, express why I think these are pretty awesome card collecting tools. Free, I mentioned. Now, a lot of these tools do have pay options that make it an even better tool, uh, but for the most part, the ones I'm sharing are have free versions that are still very helpful. And when I start off here, most of the tools that I start off with are all tools that are on my website. And I call them tools. They're just articles. But the things that you might want to bookmark because I think they're very helpful and they are very free. It's this big red one. You'll see it when you get there. All right. So I clicked on that. Let's uh, head on down again. I know some of you know a lot of these. Some of you have seen them. Now, I'm going to kind of go through these. Now, first, we're going to do these are a bunch of my card collecting tools that I think I, I are helpful. First, it's the top best rookie cards from each Topps baseball set. And basically, I went all, back all the way to 1952 Topps, and I looked up every good rookie that is worth owning. Now, some of them are Hall of Famers, and uh, I try to indicate when they are. Some of them were just great players that um still worth owning. You know, Ron Santo, Pete Rose is in here. Like, uh, so anyways, it's all the way through down to 2018, or I'm sorry, 2023. So um, I think it's helpful. Did the same thing on the next one, which is the best football rookie cards from every NFL year. Now, this one I just uh, posted last month, and it goes back to 1956 tops. Same thing. Uh, all the best rookies, the Hall of Famers especially, but then there's guys like Ernie Davis. You know, if you don't know the Ernie Davis story, you should check it out. It's a pretty amazing story. He won the Heisman Trophy, played for Syracuse, followed Jim Brown. He was the, what was his name? Uh, something, Train? Ernie Davis, what was his nickname? They made a movie out of it. Anyways, it's a good movie. The, the, I don't remember what it is. Anyways, football. All right, we'll move on. Who are the best basketball rookie cards? from every season. Now this one dates back to 1948, but it bounces around because there weren't cards from 48 to 57, and then from 57 to 61, and then from 61 to 69, and then I follow tops most of the way through until they get up to the uh, Panini Prism years, uh, essentially. Then uh, some of the other, we're gonna go back to this main screen here. Now down here I have the Dandy Dozen videos, which you you might be familiar with or you might not be, but uh, it's this video right here. These are these are links to the videos on YouTube, um, and these are the different awesome you know the, the twelve best players to collect from that era, in my opinion. And then some other stuff down here, other articles and videos that I think uh, would be helpful. For instance. This article right here, Tips for Buying Sports Cards on eBay. These are all the different videos that I've done with little write-ups for most of them on um, basically what I'm talking about. But it does have all the videos that were uh, part of that series. I think I have still two, two videos left to do in that series. Uh, they're coming. They're coming, I promise. Okay, so now we move down to Card Ladder. Card Ladder is an amazing tool. If you're gonna pay for a tool, this is the one to pay for. Now they do have free stuff on this uh, on this app is basically what it is. Um, but in my opinion, they're the best. Uh, PSA now owns them. They just bought them, I think, two years ago. But um, pretty great 
uh, pretty great website, a lot of stats, a lot of um, interesting stuff. I use it for a lot of my tools and a lot of my articles I use it for. But as I said, they do have free stuff that you can uh, track on there. If you want to, um, you can try it out for free. As, you, as it says here, you can try it out. Then the next thing I have is the top 100 baseball prospects. Top 100 from MLB.com. This is huge. This is a really, really, really big help. And it's also a big help because it'll break them down by team if you want. So let me first blow this open, uh, this list, so you can see the full list. But um, MLB is smart enough to not put this behind a paywall because it wants people to get connected to these prospects and specifically card collectors, like card collectors, fantasy baseball players, like that's the bread and butter of what MLB.com is trying to do. They're really trying to uh, connect with those markets. So they provide stuff like this. Um, top 30 by team is a huge, I don't know why it's not populated. Might, this, whenever I do this tool where I'm down in the corner, stuff slows down a lot. Hey, Junior Comanero, hey, that guy's pretty awesome. So when you click on the player, you probably know about this tool, but it blows it out over here. It gives the whole scouting report and all that good stuff. Big help. Very, uh, very nice. Very cool. eBay, the eBay collection hub. Now, eBay in the past three or four years has really poured a lot of money into the card collecting industry. Why? Well, because they're making billions off of us because of all the cards we buy on eBay. All the fees that uh, we pay for um, selling and, and, and all the stuff that we buy on there. Like, of course, they're going to want to make sure that we're happy and provide us tools like this price guide, which is pretty awesome. It's bet to me, it's better on the phone. This price guide, you punch in, uh, punch in somebody's, you know, a card, and it'll pull up uh, the whole deal with the graph. And now you can even like um, delete some of the parallels that is uh, uh, affecting the price that they're showing that that card's worth. Um, but it's pretty helpful. Very cool. You probably know about this already. I get it. So you go to 130point.com and you click on search eBay sales. And then down here, you type in what you're looking for and it shows you all the latest sales. But what's cool about this, you can do that on eBay as well, but eBay won't show you what the buy, uh, what the make an offer price uh, sold at. So if someone, um, accepted an offer for a card ebay is not going to show what that final price was 130point.com will show that price we'll move on from here okay so next hobby dot exchange I had to close some of the tabs because it was slowing down the whole thing get a better computer guys okay hobby dot exchange now this is cool because you go in here and you type in uh a card how about 2018 tops chrome show hey otani 1983 which is a card I'm very much interested in sometimes. I should have bought it two years ago. What, what was I thinking? I really want it. Anyways, enter, you do the search, and it pulls up everywhere that this card is being sold, whether it's an auction, like these are auctions, or it's an auction on ComC or uh, MySlabs or whatever. This has everything. Well, there's nothing really different. Nobody has anything that's other than eBay and ComC, but you get my point. It does all of the different spots, PWCC and uh, other auctions. I think Heritage Auctions is in, in this. They do a ton of different sales spots all in this one. So you see everywhere where they're being sold. It's free. Okay, so let's move on. I'll close that one. Anylot.com. This is a little bit like Hobby.Exchange. It's a little similar. What you can, what is cool about this one also though is you can put in a specific card, and it and the price that you want to be notified at. Hey, when this card's available for this price, send me a notification. That's pretty cool. Somebody's thinking. I like that a lot. Uh, but this is anylot.com. Man's matching engine monitors millions of cards from all over the web to show you the cards who are the perfect fit for your collection interest. So we'll move on here. Uh, this is ballcardgenius.com. This guy um, has a pretty cool website. He writes for 
cardcollector.com maybe or cardboard connection i mean uh I, I forget who he writes for but he um has this blog and it has these two tools that i'm gonna show you ebay sports card fee and profit calculator wonder how much profit you could expect from a sports card sale before you accept that offer or curious what price you need to sell your card at in order to break even or make a profit simply plug in your card's purchase and sales details and click the calculate button so that's what you do you put it all in here and then do the calculate and it'll tell you what that card needs to sell for you for you to break even okay so now let's close this one and we'll go to the next tool the same website this is the uh, how much does it cost to get a card graded and similar things you punch in uh all the different info it's a card grading cost calculator and put your declared value the turnaround time you want and the calculating will give you an idea of where uh what the prices are to get that card graded next one we're moving on to cardlines.com i like cardlines.com a lot it's a fantastic content website they do some other stuff now i think they're doing breaks on there they have a youtube channel that's pretty awesome but um for our interest i am talking specifically about a free tool this is the top series two they do rookies the best rookies to get in a specific tops flagship release so it's similar to my tool that i talk about but they do way more i just give a name these guys break it down big time with uh like listing the different tiers that each um player uh the best players or the best cards rookie card you know base cards that you want to get from those series uh and they i mean again tier two this is also helpful for breaks when you're trying to figure out well which rookie cards which breaks do i want to get in on you can go here and look and look at this it even has all the way down here let me keep going uh it has them all listed out right there look at that tier three rookies with a higher risk and potential investment reward in 2023 top series one they mean series two right there actually so then rookies with little to no investment they show you those so it gives you an idea you're like oh wait is this guy any good now you can come here you can find out no he's not he's not any good at all so then you know moving on the gemrate.com universal pop report now this universal pop re report shows for all of the let's see let's see uh let's do 2000 uh, let's do 2003 tops chrome basketball and um it shows you all like the the total of everything sgc did has done 1500 of these becca's done 19,000. psa's done 31,000. makes sense sgc's still kind of not brand new but they're newish enough to not have a ton of these graded and then it tells you the number that are graded at each site that's pretty cool each service so no longer are you wondering uh well psa says there's ten thousand of this card but let me go up to a baseball one and see 1975 tops i don't want many let's do 1989 upper deck let's do that one with the old ken griffey jr so we know Ken Griffey Jr. has about 100,000 graded over at PSA. Uh, 106,000 at PSA. Well, guess what? There's 160,000 that have been graded. So here I thought 106,000 was a lot. There's 60 more percent to add on to that. 40,000 over Beckett, 13,000 over SGC. So this is a cool tool um, to really get an idea of a card's scarcity. Also at gemrate.com the blog go to the blog and basically it's what you would get if you signed up for their newsletter so for instance this is the featured post of december 20 2023 grading recap you can go here and it gives you the whole rundown of everything uh that happened in the past month in the grading world essentially how many cards were graded which which sports were graded, which sets were graded the most um which uh who got who had more higher percentage of items graded per category uh it's just awesome by the era i love this like sgc with seven percent they lead the world with seven percent of all the cards from the 60s are being graded by sgc pretty good sgc good job buddy
And the other tool, Gem Ray, I want to talk about is the top 100 cards of all time that have been graded. And you can sort by the different grading companies and you can sort by the different categories, different sport, whatever. Uh, I've done some videos on this. So it's, it's a lot of fun to mess around with to know that Ken Griffey Jr. has not just the most graded card ever, but they had the second most graded card. And guess what? The fourth most graded card. It's pretty amazing. Ken Griffey Jr., pretty popular. All right, we'll move on here. The PSA set registry. I love this thing. It's fun. Load it up on your phone. Scan all your PSA slabs in there. And you start filling out sets, like subsets. Like, for instance, they have a Dream Team set. So you have all the, the rookie cards of that Dream Team. And as you get them, you fill out that set on there. It's pretty cool. And then it compares you to other collectors that also uh, collect that set. And it gets, gives you like your ranking, you get badges. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of free. So I like that. Next one, Dean's Cards. This is basically a card database, which really what it is. But I'm going to show you something cool here that I think is awesome. Let's say uh, 1994 Tops Football. Uh, it, yeah, there we go. I think was that Marshall Falk in that year. And then again, Hall of Fame. Rookie, show unavailable. Because I want to look at the Rookie Hall of Famers in this set. But this is a, car, this is a, a website where he sells the cards. So... He may not have some available, so I want to make sure to show unavailable. Click update results, and let's see what Hall of Famers were in the 1994 Tops football checklist. So there you go. Larry, Ryan, Larry Allen, Marshall Falk, Isaac Bruce, Kevin Mawai, Brian Young. That's a pretty good list. So hey, it's just fun to play with. It's just fun to play with. Dean cards. Okay, let's move on. Next one is Cardboard Connections. This is the sports cards calendar this has all the sports cards that are coming out next and when they're coming out and it even has write-ups for a lot of them so that's pretty awesome uh i love this i want a sports card calendar on my site but i don't have time to do all this it's pretty awesome so i use this tool instead all right so we'll move on center stage use this app on your phone scan one of your cards you'll know instantly what that card is, uh, what the different parallel will tell you what the parallel is. It's pretty awesome. I like this one a lot. Move on. Top most watched eBay sports card auction tracker. It's a lot. It's a lot of words. But basically what it does is, you know, when you are on eBay and it says, do you want to watch this card? And you say, watch this card. This goes through and tracks the most watched sports cards on ebay it's able to figure it out like for instance lamar jack 2018 prison black finite one of one rookie card auto psa 10 has 455 watchers right now with 31 bids and then it just it just keeps going a jordan 57 uh jordan psa 9 286 watchers that's pretty awesome so and then you click on it and and uh bob jungle that's pretty awesome all right let's move on here the hot and cold archives at Beckett. Everyone loved Beckett as a kid. 1980s, man. I could not wait to get my next Beckett magazine to see what the hot and cold cards were so that I knew so I could go get the hot ones and trade away the cold ones. I probably didn't do that. I probably bought the cold ones, which probably was smarter. Maybe I, uh, maybe I made a ton of money that way. But uh, at any rate, this they now have moved it to the website, smartly enough. And uh, you can see who's hot and cold on the website, which is pretty easy. Um, let's see if it loads quickly. Yeah, here you go. Good times. Shohei Otani. Hot. Wander Franco. I didn't go down far enough. Yeah, there's nobody colder right now. James Harden. Eh, I could make I could see James Harden going up. Trey Lance, certainly. Okay. Next one is NBA.com. This is the Kia Rookie Ladder. This is where he posts his articles. Uh, Steve Ashburner, he posts all these posts all these articles on here. The Kia Rookie Ladder, which is basically the rookie rankings of this year's rookies, NBA rookies, makes sense, right? So this is a good thing to check, and so you can have an idea of like, oh, here's some guys I need to hold on to protect their rookie cards because uh, they're playing really well this year. You may not realize that. All right, so skip it through. 
MLB.com's 2023 rookies based on long-term value. I love this article. It's really cool. Jim Callis, former baseball uh, baseball America guy, I believe. Um, superstar. He's got. He goes back through the years, but he goes through and ranks all the uh, players by long-term value. Tell me that's not helpful for a card collector. It's a great article. Very cool. So go check that out. Click on my link to go check it out. It's easy. It's right there. Then uh, footballguys.com, one of my favorite fantasy football websites. Well, they do have rankings on there, and they have dynasty rankings. You can go to the dynasty rankings and get an idea of the best players to collect because their cards, are, their rookie cards specifically, are going to be valuable. So this is um, this. These were already checked off for these are rookies specifically. So these are rookies uh, for 2023 that you will want to collect going forward. Now the difference is in fantasy they don't value quarterbacks the way card collectors do, right? So C.J. Stroud really is number one up here. Anthony Richardson probably number two, and then you can fill in some of these guys. Puka Nakua, uh, Jordan Addison, certainly, Bijan Robinson. But anyways, I thought it's a great tool. I thought I'd share it with you. Free. Fantasy Pros, speaking of fantasy, you can go to fantasypros.com uh, and look up the MLB rankings for dynasty and keeper teams. Again, this gives you an idea of not just this year's rookies, but all the players that are currently playing who has the best value of in baseball or fantasy baseball, I should say, going forward. Again, remember, fantasy doesn't, um, they don't value pitchers very much, which is good because card collectors don't either. Uh, fantasy probably values them much more than card collectors, um, but they still, you know, this is mostly going to be bats that we're talking about. Spencer Strider down there, hey now. All right, then we move on to breakninja.com. This is... Uh, for break fans, breaking fans, um, let me see, breakninja.com, let me see what what my explanation is, is what they do. So, by the way, you could go back and look at this. There's other stuff that are in this article. I'm kind of just talking about a few things, but you can certainly go through buysports.com, buysports.com's card images. I love and do the same thing. Check off, make sure you say, um, make sure you click off the in stock only. So you can see all the cards because there might be some that aren't being sold right there. All right. So I go down here. Uh, break Ninja's group break checklist. That's what that is. It's a great way to see which teams have the best cards to get in which set. So you choose a team on the left. And then uh, let's see. Yeah, like you would fill up, pick a series. And um, let's say Bowman Chrome. And you could pick the team on the left. Let's say Boston. And it'll show you all the cool cards that are in that set. So if you were to do a break, these are the cards you could get out of that break. So it gives you an idea. All right. So then we close this one. The last one, baseball card set reviews. Uh, this is done by the awesome guys over at One Cent Sports. If you haven't seen One Cent Sports, uh, one cent sports cards, I should say, right here. One cent sports cards. These guys are amazing. They do baseball only, though. They do uh, set reviews, and they tell you which cards are awesome uh, and which teams are awesome in the breaks that you want to want to get for those breaks. Another great one is BreakComp.com's price comparison tool. Go on there, and you can pick what the set is. Like 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball, and it shows you all the prices for the different breaks. Like they, this this breaker Louisville Sports Cards has the Rangers for an eight box jumbo case, 190 bucks to get the Rangers. So you can find the best prices for the teams you want to do breaks on. Um, let's see. So then for the rest, this is all stuff you already know. YouTube card collecting videos, mine. Scotty B is the best. Sports Card Dad's the best. Jab's family, one of the best ones to watch someone opening up cards. Pac-Man, he's another great one. Facebook groups, Instagram, you got your TikTok and what you kids are into these days. And this is my TikTok channel, actually, where I do a whole thing on uh, 
the Lakers, uh, my best Lakers cards. So that's pretty cool. Then we got Twitter and Reddit. You've seen it all. You've seen it. You you know the whole spiel. But that's my list. That's my 52 card collecting tools that are free for you to use. So go to my site, davidgonis.com, to check them out. And uh, let me know in the comments of this video what you thought about them. And whatever you do, let me know if you have some that I missed. And have a happy hobby.